All right, guys, hope everyone's good. Uh, although I've said that already it's today, uh, it's still Monday. Uh, I've literally just been to tip all the waste that I got from my first job this morning. Or uh, hence the high vis. Uh, Mustang GT. Pretty sure that was a commented on the last video. Um, basically, this is no tips or tricks or whatever. Um, you basically asked me what I do about working in the rain or when it rains. Um, unfortunately, I have uh, child, mortgage, uh, and bills to pay. Um, so unless it's absolutely torrential, I'll still go out. Um, today, all I had on was my high vis jacket. Um, and then the job that I was at, that tree in the middle, it, I basically managed to get all the ivy off the walls and make a start on the, the border-ish, the gravel around the edge before it absolutely hammered it down basically um, so when it did start raining I was on my knees trying to get the grass and I was under that tree for most of it so it is really about picking and choosing the jobs now if it was raining on my regular round I would just still go out um, the only thing I don't really like doing in the rain really is the job that you've just seen where I have to turn borders over and all that sort of stuff because you just get, end up getting caked. I don't care wh who you are, what you're doing and what you're wearing, you're gonna get caked. And it, sometimes I feel that when you go in and you, you, you've done all your work and you look back and you think, well, I've made more bloody mess than I've actually cleared up. So sometimes it's actually better not to do the job. Um, obviously I can't tell you to not to do it because obviously I don't know what your circumstances are, but um, I, think it's, I think things are always okay to, to wait another day. No one's gonna lose a life on it really, let's face it. Um, it might be a little bit irritating to the customer because I was expecting you one day and you were expecting the money from that job and so forth and so on. But if it's absolutely signing it down, I just write off as a day off uh, and then maybe work the weekend or something like that. Um, but yeah, working in the rain, all you can do is stick high, uh, high vis. All you can do is stick waterproofs on um, and just hope for the best. Wellers are a good thing um, as well because obviously, like now. I didn't know it was that, I didn't know it was going to get that bad. Um, that my feet are absolutely saturated, um, which isn't too bad as long as you can get them dry. These are knackered. These shoes are knackered, so I'm just going to go buy a new pair. I don't do that every time it rains. It's just that these have got to a certain point that I need. I, I've been needing a new pair anyway. So yeah. So if you want to work out in the rain, go for it. Um, I mean, if your your products that you use are petrol, it's they'll not bother. They'll, they'll not be bothered. Um, they'll still keep working um, you just get wet and as my old man used to say son drips only get bigger bit of an insult really won't it but he's right you only get wetter oh, you only get wetter you're only gonna get wet and you're dry so you know you know it's only skin and clothes take your clothes off you're driving five minutes so you know it doesn't make for a good day but hey ho we've got to do things that way so there you go there's your question uh, that was an answer to your question should i say um you just keep going regardless unless it's absolutely torrential and on the on the other side if it's thunder and lightning don't use a long reach um because i wouldn't want you to swing it up like that and then lightning strike you um so you definitely pick your days um but you know if you walk out the house and you're just going to get absolutely lathered within seconds and you can't move because you're just absolutely saturated what's the point going out personally you know i mean like i said if if i've got regular customers that i'm there every week and there's not I'm not going to make much mess i just have to turn the borders over and cut the grass i'll still go because it still needs doing and i can guarantee you if it rains one day or one week and you miss it or you miss one visit and it's raining for you're gonna have to cut shit loads aren't you you're gonna have to cut lots um so yeah, just, just keep on regardless, unfortunately. Um, like I said, I've got no tips. Anything I can say to you as well is and waterproofs, really. So there you go. See you guys later.